Hello! Alright, I haven't uploaded any new uh, videos this week, so I'm going to upload a couple today for you for a couple new read alouds. So today we're going to read That Day Jimmy's Boa Ate the Wash by Trinka Hakes Noble and pictures by Stephen Kellogg. Alright, first question Who is the author? Mm -hmm. Remember, the author is the person who writes the words. Okay? Think, listen. Who is the illustrator? Good. The illustrator is who draws all the pretty pictures on the book. All right. Next question. What's this called? What's this? On the side of the book. What's this? Good. The day Jimmy's boa ate the wash. What's this page called? Remember, it's the title page. Has the title, has the author and the illustrator. How was your class trip to the farm? Oh, boring, kind of dull, until the cow started crying. A cow? Crying? Yeah, you see, a haystack fell on her. But a haystack doesn't just fall over. It does if a farmer crashes into it with his tractor. Oh, come on, a farmer wouldn't do that. He would if he were too busy yelling at the pigs to get off our school bus. What were the pigs doing on the bus? Eating our lunches. Why were they eating your lunches? Because we threw their corn at each other and they didn't have anything else to eat. Well, that makes sense, but why were you throwing corn? Because we ran out of eggs. Out of eggs? Why were you throwing eggs? Because of the boa constrictor. The boa constrictor? Yeah, Jimmy's pet boa constrictor. What was Jimmy's pet boa constrictor doing on the farm? Oh, he brought it to meet all the farm animals, but the chickens didn't like it. You mean he took it into the hen house? Yeah, and the chickens started squawking and flying around. Go on, go on, what happened? Well, one hen got excited and laid an egg, and it landed on Jenny's head. The hen? No, the egg, and it broke yucky all over her hair. What did she do? She got mad because she thought Tommy threw it, so she threw one at him. What did Tommy do? Oh, he ducked and the egg hit Mary Ann in the face. So she threw one at Jenny, but she missed and it hit Jim Jimmy, who dropped his boa constrictor. Oh... And I know, the next thing you knew, everyone was throwing eggs, right? Right. And when you ran out of eggs, you threw the pig's corn, right? Right again. Well, what finally stopped it? Well, we heard the farmer's wife screaming. Why was she screaming? Uh-oh. Do you see where, why she might be screaming? What's on the laundry line? We never found out because Miss Stanley made us get on the bus and we sort of left in a hurry without the boa constrictor. Ah, 
I bet Jimmy is sad because we left his pet boa constrictor. Oh, not really. We left in such a hurry that one of the pigs didn't get off the bus. So now he's got a pet pig. Who was the little boy that had a boa constrictor? Yep, it was Jimmy. But since they left the boa constrictor at the farm, what pet does Jimmy have now? Yep, a pig. Boy, that sure sounds like an exciting trip. Yeah, I suppose if you're the kid, if, if you're the kind of kid who likes class trips to the farm. What's the pig riding in? Wow. That's a pretty cool pig if he's riding in a race car. Alright. So, if Jimmy has a new pet pig and he left the boa constrictor at the farm, who do you think owns the boa constrictor now? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to show you the last picture. Maybe you can take a guess. Yep, the farmer and his wife now have a pet boa constrictor. Hmm. Look, she's knitting. What do you think she's knitting for the boa constrictor? Maybe a scarf? Maybe a sweater? Hmm. You think, and you tell somebody what you think she might be knitting for the boa constrictor. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye!